Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to delete or remove data from MySQL table by using Vue JavaScript with PHP and Axios package. In previous part, we have seen how to edit or update MySQL table data by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. And in that part we have used modal dialog for update data. Now for delete or remove data, first we have go to index page, and here we have to make delete button for each row of table data. So in fourth table column, we have write button type is equal to button, name is equal to button. Here we have write at the rate click directive is equal to delete data function with argument row dot id. So when we have click on delete button, then it will call delete data function. Now we have go to view JavaScript code part, and here we have go to method section, and here we have make delete data method with callback function with id as argument. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write confirm statement, with message like are you sure you want to remove this data, if user click on ok button, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have start write axios request, with post method with two argument. In first argument, we have write action.php file, it will send request to this file. In second argument, we have to define data which we want to send with axios request, so here we have write action variable with delete as value, and id variable, with id argument as value. Next we have write then callback function, this function will be called if axios request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server in JSON format. Under this function, we have write application dot fetch all data function. This function will display remaining data on web page. After this, we have write alert statement with response dot data dot message. It will pop up success message on web page. Now we have go to action dot php file for write php script. So here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar receive data with action variable value is equal to delete. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to delete from sample table, where id is equal to dollar received data with id variable value this query delete data from sample table based on value of id variable next we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution and for query execution, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute above delete query. After this, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with message key 
and in value we have write data deleted message. Now we want to send this data to Axios request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method with dollar output variable. It will send data to Axios request in JSON format. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends. First we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page. Here we can see that delete button has been appear in each of data. For delete particular row of data. For this here. We have click on this row delete button. After click on delete button. Here we can see one dialog box has appear with message like are you sure you want to delete this data with ok and cancel button. First time we have click on cancel button. Then no action has been performed. So now again we have click on delete button. Then again dialog box appear on web page. With ok and cancel button. But now we have click on OK button. After click on OK button. Then here we can see success message on web page. And here in table we can see remaining data. So. Here we have make single page CRUD application. In which we can insert. Update and delete MySQL table data by using view JavaScript with PHP script. Axios package and modal dialog box.